Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here in a beautiful studio today. This is my friend Liz Salzman Photography. Her studio called Amica Studio here in Toronto. She finally launched it. This has been like a summer project and it is gorgeous. So if you are an influencer, content creator, marketer, photographer, or anyone who just needs a space to be creative and get some amazing shots and footage, definitely check out Amica Studio. Not sponsored, but I did do a few DIY projects in here and she is my good friend and lets me use it today when it's available. So I really appreciate it. But that is not the topic of the video. No, it's time for another styling video. And this format is a little bit different. I wanted to kind of change it up because I personally got bored of the previous styling video content so we're trying something a little bit new today so without further ado let's hop right into it for the first outfit it's something that I've been wearing a lot ever since I got it and I never saw myself as the kind of person who would wear active wear casually it is the dynamite active wear like kind of casual top sorry if it has some deodorant marks on it i literally wear this all the time i'm so gross but it is from dynamite's i think summer collection and it comes in a potential set where there's matching like biker shorts which i actually do own but i didn't want it for the purpose of this video as it is a video for transitional clothing from summer to fall fashion and the most difficult thing with fall fashion and the reason why i rarely ever buy fall and spring clothing is because with canadian weather and everything it's just so hard for me to wear clothes that adapt well to the season some days it's extremely hot other days it's so cold that i can't i feel like i can't wear anything or i have to wear winter clothing this is a great option if you're like me and you want something that's still gonna let you breathe let those armpits breathe without being too heavy is wearing an active wear this one's a little bit thick it has a ribbed fabric to it and pairing it with like a really light business pants these are the vicky pants from oh my god where did i get these i think i got these either on chu or yes style they're made in korea i have been obsessed with these ever since i got them i think i did get them from chu and they're just nice light and flowy but they still protect you from the wind chill or in case it does get a little bit breezy out there you're still able to breathe but still have that protective layer over you which i i love so i find myself wearing this a little more often this specific pair just if i'm casually running out to the grocery store i can quickly grab it throw it on and more often than not this top has been like daily wear like not pajama but pajama for me so it's like it's nice next i pair it with my babaton i guess you could call it like trench it's really nice and flowy it's great for transitional seasons which is one of the only coats i own that is very good for that i would never wear this in the late fall or early early spring here in canada because it's not heavy enough to protect me from that super cold weather but it is perfect for spring and fall it's great to just throw over top of your clothes again it's a little bit thick it has some weight to it so it still gives me that wind chill protection while still being breezy and airy so like today it's I don't know feels like 30 but i can still throw this on and it's not too much especially if there's a breeze here so this is one outfit i find myself reaching to a lot that's great for transitioning styling ideas from summer to fall with transition outfits if you are someone who likes to go out or dress fancy i know in august and july i have a lot of events it's birthday season still or even just trying to get the last bit of that like summer going out experience before everything gets too cold i just want to dress fancy but i've noticed at night it gets a little too cold and even when i was out the other day for my girl's birthday early august it was just a little too chilly at night but fortunately for me i anticipated that so i have loved the whole idea this isn't a new idea by me but i love the whole idea of layering really kind of fancy sheer tops under your dress that you want to wear and all summer long i've been obsessed with this sheer kind of crop top that i got on yes style it's gorgeous it's just like pure lace with some some plastic pearl buttons and a string tie and it's just the perfect underneath to just take the edge off a little bit from the temperature 
And I just love pairing it with something really satiny. I've noticed I've been doing that the past two times I went out. I've paired this top underneath with some really satin finished dresses. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I got it a few winters ago now, probably about two to three winters ago. And it's just from their curved collection. I did have to get it tailored and taken in at the waist, which only cost me an additional $15, no biggie. But it's just a lovely curvy, sort of cheap satin dress. <laughs> Cheaply made, but it gets the job done it's perfect for me if I just want something quick that I can throw on and I've been loving the whole concept of that lately because I am a dress and skirt girl I don't know what year this changed for me I used to be able to wear jeans really like every single day and like jean shorts but you won't you literally won't see me in any form of jean shorts or shorts anymore in the summer season or ever I've honestly full converted to dresses and skirts only and then jeans in like midwinter because it's just hella too cold but if you're like me this is the perfect styling video for you and once again similar concept to the last outfit i just can't get over layering shirts like pretty sheer shirts under my dresses and this is a top that i got from i think global g market a few summers ago it's a crop top that's really sheer it's got a big chunky kind of accent around there what's that called i don't even know and then a big chunky collar and long sleeves. It gives a little bit of warmth and protection from the winds. It takes the edge off when the evenings are cold or if it is a little more chilly on a day or a little more dark. And then I love pairing it with this dress. And I wore this for one of my girls' nights, this exact combo, and I was obsessed with it. I was comfortable. I still felt fancy, but I felt fine if it was a little too chilly. This dress right here is from Princess Polly last summer. I don't know if they still carry this. They probably don't, but it's a lovely maxi almost dress that has a slit up the front, the buttons up the center, and then it has the lovely chunky tie at the back, which I just love. And one thing I also love about this whole layering trend that I have going on for myself is that I have an arm complex, and I know a lot of you will be like, girl, you're insane, you don't need to have an arm complex, but I do. You know, we all have those experiences in our early childhood that scar us for life and make us self-conscious and uncomfortable for the rest of our lives with certain aspects of ourselves. For me, it's my arms. So I love finding ways I can just take the attention off my arms while still being able to wear the styles that I love. And these under, under the dress kind of cover-ups are just like perfect for me, I'm obsessed. Again, with the dresses, you know, I, I love my summer dresses, you guys. This dress is another one from Pretty Little Thing. I think I got it in the summer of 2018. It's a beautiful kind of, I don't even know, champagne. I don't even, I don't even think you would call that. I don't know, it's like an off-white satin with these beautiful, beautiful beiges, orange, soft, muted roses on it with a little bit of that brownish leaf. Really great transitional fall colors in this dress, which I love because you're not too vibrant and bright, but you still get that summer vibe with the, with the little bit of the colors of fall. And then I've been pairing it with this blazer I got from H&M, which I haven't even worn. Aren't I just what I have, but I haven't taken the tag off and I got this in the spring of this year, you guys. So what's wrong with me? But I love it and it's great for pulling over dresses. It's a heavier fit, much, much heavier, but it, pairs perfectly which is like a really nice simple dress or even something just really classic like this one right here and you're able to stay warm and take the chill off but still be stylish at the same time and enjoy your summer dresses so this is one outfit i think i'm gonna wear once it gets a little bit colder here it's not quite there yet for this blazer as it is really really thick and i do notice i get a little bit sweaty if i put it on right now it's a little too a little too hot to start wearing this but I can't wait to be able to pair it with all my summer dresses that I still want to wear, but it's a little cold. So I'm thinking maybe more so in September, October, you'll see me in that blazer a little more often. And lastly, we have the outfit that I have on right now, which is the last one. This is a, I think this is another shirt from Pretty Little Thing. I got it in summer 2018, I do believe. And it is that fun, vibrant kind of mustard yellow color with the polka dots. It's a very kind of classic pattern with a more modern and trendy cropped and frilled effect, which I love. But it's just a little too summery, but I love the idea of pairing it with this skirt that I have here. I got this skirt from Anthropology in the late spring here in Toronto. It's a little too big for me around the waist, but nothing I can't 
fit by eating a little bit more or taking a jumbo clothespin to it, so that's okay. But this skirt, I haven't worn it at all this summer because it is hella thick, you guys. It is way too thick to wear in the summer, but for end of summer, early fall, and maybe even honestly throughout the winter, this is a great skirt that you can just throw on and pair it with a nice breezy airy top without being too hot. So I'm looking forward to being able to wear this outfit maybe again in September and October where the temperature goes down a little bit because I think right now I would, I would get a smidge too sweaty in this skirt. But the top, again, I love long sleeves. It helps with my unnecessary arm complex, but it also is great to take any wind chill off of the arms, which is something that affects me a lot. I can do no problem with exposed legs, but any exposed upper body that's a little too much in the wind is it's a little too much for me. So it's nice to have long sleeves that are still breezy and airy but take the edge off a little bit anyway you guys that is it for my styling video i hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of way of doing it where i actually sit down and talk to you guys and it's not just a fast forward music series i think maybe that trends a little bit over let me know if you like this format a little bit better of course remember to subscribe i upload weekly videos on this channel lifestyle videos that are a fashion vlog day in the life skincare and beauty everything this is my this is my lifestyle beauty channel fashion channel if that seems like your cup of tea definitely subscribe with the notification bell turned on or else youtube will not be so kind to show my videos to you guys again you guys only three percent of my audience get seen my videos so make sure the notifications are on to ensure you're not in that low three percent of people that actually get shown my videos of course check me out on my instagram i'm there every single day if you want to stay up to date with me on what i'm doing i stream occasionally on twitch if you want to hang out with me live chat with me live and ask any questions you want we do cozy streams over there and you can also find me on tiktok all my social medias are in the description box down below so do check that out and of course check out my korean skincare store if korean skincare is your thing i provide my top picked hand tested duh korean skincare products that i love and are delivering them to the entire world and u.s and canada i house all my products here so if you like korean skincare and want to get it conveniently from the u.s or canada then you can shop glow atelier skin otherwise thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned to the next video which will be a day in the life vlog and i will I'll catch you next time bye